Pineapple University is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hakshop.com. Hello and welcome to Pineapple University. I'm Darren Kitchen and in this video series we're going to show you the concepts to effectively use your Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V. Everything from unboxing it for the very first time to capturing packets and advanced network auditing. But before we even begin, us all of us here at Hack5, we want to thank you for supporting us, for supporting the Wi-Fi Pineapple. I want to personally welcome you to this community because this project has been evolving since 2008 and hundreds of people around the world have all come together to really help make this a simple, affordable, and super versatile platform. So from all of us here at Hack5 and the Yazaga team, thank you. Now let's go ahead and get started and open the box. Now as you can see this right here is the unit that we are so super proud of. It is very exciting to be doing our first uh, bit of you know, custom hardware here. So let's just uh, pop this guy open, maybe appreciate a little bit of that action. And see, first thing you'll notice is your full color manual with all sorts of information here on how to get set up and started as well as our uh, decals. I personally love the stickers, but you could always leave it blank if you'd like, as well as this very important firmware flashing card, and uh, stay tuned for another uh, video on the uh, firmware here in just a bit. Uh, moving on, we have our main unit here. I'm just going to slip that guy out, and so this is the pineapple. And let's go ahead and see around the edges here. We have what we should be uh, very familiar with, a 10100 Ethernet, USB 2 port, a very versatile power, uh, as well as an expansion slot here. I'm going to go ahead and open this little hatch, and this just pops right off there. To reveal underneath, we have some pins. We'll get into that in a bit when we talk about hardware expansion. We have dip switches here for boot modes, an SMA connector for our first radio. We have a user accessible serial TTL, and that's a little UART there, as well as the SMA connector for our second radio the uh, micro SD card slot, and finally our LED indicators across the top. Going on inside of the box, we will also find our power cable. And this right here is for US, as well as we have the adapters here for different locales. So go ahead and use the one appropriate for your location. And finally, we have Cat5 cable, little Ethernet, as well as our antennas. So uh, just to talk about real briefly the radios, we put two very powerful radios, infamous radios in fact, within the hacking community. Inside of here we actually have the uh, Atheros AR9331 running our Radio Zero or WLAN Zero and that serves as our access point. It's a very high gain, very versatile unlocked radio as well as an unlocked Realtek RTL8187 as Radio 1 or WLAN 1, and that's useful for connecting to uh, other access points in client mode, you know, sniffing traffic in monitor mode, or for you know, advanced attacks using raw frame injection. Now, about these antennas, these right here are SMA antennas. They're not RPSMA which you may be used to. Uh, these are actually very high gain. These are actually only 6 dBi, but they outperform the 9 dBi's on the Mark, uh, Mark IV, the previous generation. There's no pigtail here. There's a really nice solid connection right onto the board. I mention this because if you notice, when you go ahead to screw this on, you'll see that it is, in fact, the antenna that has the pin inside of it and not the connector. So I'll go ahead and get that guy screwed on. If you have existing um, antennas, like for instance, if you have, say, one from a uh, previous pineapple or other consumer Wi-Fi gear, I just point this out because since we went with the professional SMA antennas, you will need to, if you would like to use those antennas, need to use a small adapter. Uh, these are real simple. They just screw right in to your antenna of choice and then right into the pineapple. Uh, I just mentioned that so that, you know, if you need additional antennas or adapters, hack shop, uh, and a simple way to kind of keep in mind which one is which here is that your AR uh, for AR9331 is on the right and uh, your RTL8187 is on the left. 
All right. Now a quick word on power. We spent a lot of time ensuring that we have a highly robust power supply in here, and it actually accepts anywhere between 5 volts and 12 volts, which can be really convenient. Of course, the included power supply provides 9, something a little bit in the middle. The DC barrel here is a 2.1 millimeter internal diameter and a 5.5 millimeter external diameter. It is center positive. And we, of course, have our pineapple juice battery packs offering um, you know, battery life runtime in the way of, well, between 12 hours and 74. So you could actually deploy your pineapple and manage it remotely for a day, for multiple days, which is really convenient. And also for convenience, we uh, have the USB to DC plug and this is great for if say you want to plug your pineapple into your laptop. A lot of laptops nowadays have USB 3 which is able to provide up to 900 milliamps of uh, power. There's also a lot of uh, battery packs on the market that will say if it says it will charge an iPad that means that it is uh, capable of supplying two amps of power and that will go ahead and power your pineapple. The only thing that I'll mention here as far as USB power is that keep in mind that while uh, most of the times it'll be sufficient for just your pineapple, if you start plugging into its USB 2 port very power hungry devices, you could run into stability issues. So this is why we absolutely recommend using something like a 12 volt pack. Okay, now boot modes. These are huge. I'm very excited about this. These switches over here on the right side of the device um, these five dip switches here allow you to customize what the pineapple does without having to log into the web interface. So from left to right, we have switches one through five. Switch number one and switch number five, so the very leftmost and the very rightmost, are actually reserved for system functions. The three in the middle are absolutely configurable by you. Now the micro SD slot here allows you to upgrade the memory on the pineapple, which is fantastic. We actually provide a two gigabyte uh, micro SD card here with the firmware files pre-installed. We're actually going to get into flashing the firmware in the next video. And if you'd like, you can actually upgrade your SD card all the way up to 32 gigabytes after you've done that first boot flashing procedure. Uh, we support EXT as well as FAT. FAT may be convenient for Windows users as you don't have to have any additional software to be able to read it on a Windows box. Uh, as well as you have the option to format right from the web UI, which also partitions the drive, so you have swap space, which is great for running more concurrent applications. Uh, most importantly, though, I point out that this micro SD card slot is essential. You have to have a micro SD card in here to be able to boot. Now, the expansion bay. I guess all I'm going to say here in this first video is don't touch it for right now. It is highly sensitive. I mean, even an inexpensive multimeter could potentially short things out. Don't start hooking up LEDs to it to find out. We actually have a hardware development kit in the works right now. So please wait for the HDK, which will allow us to you know, develop some really cool upgrades that we're calling pineapple slices to add features like Bluetooth, GPS, accelerometers, displays, other fun stuff like that. And finally, we have our serial TTL. This is a user accessible UART, so you don't actually have to open the device to get access to the console. From left to right here, we have ground, RX, TX, and 3.3 volt. Now, I want to mention here, please do not use that 3.3 volt. We're actually going to get into uh, accessing the console from serial in a later video, but I just want to point out that you don't want to plug into the 3.3 volt. Just a fair warning. Okay, so that's the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V unboxing. That's the hardware setup. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and load the firmware and complete the setup on our computer. And I highly encourage you all right now to go ahead and get involved in the Wi-Fi Pineapple community. So your homework assignment today is to head over to uni.wifipineapple.com to find more videos and lessons and exercises as well as of course the Wi-Fi pineapple forums and chat I will see you there class dismissed